Today's video is all about Shopify Metafields and this is one of the features that can turn your store upside down. If you are not using Shopify Metafields yet, I highly recommend you to watch this video up until the end because I'm going to explain to you how to use Shopify Metafields to improve your store and make it way, way better. The best way in my opinion to understand what are Shopify Metafields and how they work is to see them in action. That's why we are going to move directly to my screen to start exploring Shopify Metafields. When you are listing a new products on Shopify, by default, there are some fields that you need to fill. So let's say I click here on add a product. The first thing I need to fill is obviously the title. Then I have the description. Then I have the images, the variants, and so on. So these are the fields, title, description. You have the media. You have here the category, which is something fairly new. You have the pricing the inventory and if you scroll down you have the variance and finally you have the search engine listing and that's it this means that each product on shopify has those fields as characteristics for one product i can have a title a and for another product i can have a title b for one product i can have a description a and for another product i can have a description b as simple as that now let's imagine a scenario where you want to create a new field for your products so let's say for example you sell clothing and each of your products has different size chart so how can you do that how can you create a special size chart for each of your products well yes you can introduce the size chart within the product images but you can even do it more professionally now let's say for example you want to have a maintenance guide for the product a that's different than the maintenance guide for the product b how can you do that? Well, that's where meta fields come. They help you to create new dynamic fields for your products, your collections, your variants, your orders, and so on. In this video, we are going to see how to apply this to your products. And you can apply the same logic for all other types of content on your Shopify store. Before moving forward with our topic, I want to take one moment of your time to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to make it strong and sustainable. I have worked with hundreds of clients and we have applied the same framework for their businesses in order to make them grow and succeed. And believe me, the results were incredible. So I highly recommend you to check this free workshop because it will explain to you everything you need to know about how to build a strong, sustainable e-commerce business. It's totally free. You don't need to pay any dollar. Just go down and sign up and that's it. And now let's get back to our topic. So back to our product in here as you can see these are the fields that we have the title description images and seo at the end i'm going now to create a new field that wasn't there before so i will go to settings and from here i will go to custom data and as you can see in here we have a list of places where we can create meta fields. I will start with the products because this is what I care about the most now. Well, those meta fields are here by default. Either they were created by Shopify or by an app. So I'm gonna keep them. I will click on add definition. And in this way, I'm creating a new field within my product page. Wait, because you are going to understand everything when we see this in action. So let's name this meta field size chart. And in here, under the type, we are going to choose the type of this meta field. So if your size charts are images, you can choose in here the meta field type to be images. If your size charts are maybe rich text, you can choose it from here. So as you scroll in here, you will see the different types of meta fields. You have single line, multi-line, these are the most used. And if you scroll down, you have them like divided by type. Okay, in my case, I will scroll down and I will try to find file, which is the thing I want to create now. But again, you can choose any of these different types depending on what type of field you are trying to create. I will go now with the uh, file one. And in here, you can choose either to have one file under this meta field or two files. Let's say you are creating a maintenance guide and it's over two different files. You can in here choose a list of files instead of only having the meta field only applicable for one file. So let's keep it simple and keep it as one file. And in here under the file types, I will choose only images because my size charts are images. 
and I will click on save. So as you can see, now I have a new meta field called size charts and it's for products. Now, when we go back to our product page and we scroll down, you will see that this meta field is here. It wasn't there before, it's here now. And it is available for every, every product you have on your store. So now you can decide whether to fill or not to fill the size chart for your products. So let's say, for example, you have a yoga store and in this case, you would need the size charts for your bras and leggings, but you wouldn't need it for the mats, for example. And if you created a dimensions meta field, you would need it for your mats, but you wouldn't need it for your bras and your leggings. So you just need to fill the meta field where it makes sense. For some products, it might not make sense, so you just ignore it. So now I'm going to fill this meta field. What you need to do is to click in here click on select image and you can select one of the images you have already on store or upload a new one and that's it. You save the product after that. Let's do this on an already existing product on my store. So going to products, I will choose this one for example. I will scroll down and moving to size charts, I will click select image and choose this image to be my size chart and click on save. So now we have created the meta field and we have given this meta field a value for this specific product. Now let's see how you can see this meta field showing on your Shopify store, how you are going to show this size chart to your customers. If you are liking this video and you are finding the content interesting, please don't forget to smash the like button because by liking this video, you will help it to reach more and more people. Also, don't forget if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section below and I would be more than happy to help you out. So going back in here to online store, you go to your current theme and you click on customize. Since this is a product, the meta field is going to show within the product page. So what you are going to change now is the product page default template. I'm not sure if you know much about product page templates and how to use them, but if you want to know more about this, I highly recommend you to check this video on my YouTube channel. Now going back to our topic, let's try to modify our default product page template. So from your editor in here, you click on products and you go to the default product. So this is the default product page template. What we are going to do is to insert this meta field that we have just created within this page template. From here on the left, we have the page template sections and we can modify everything about those sections in here. If you don't know much about how to use this editor, I highly recommend you to check this video on my YouTube channel to know more about how to customize your theme and how to use this editor. So from here, let's say for example, I want to include my size chart in this area in here. It's very important to note that the way we are going to show the meta fields will depend on the theme we are using. In this example in here, I'm using the Dawn theme. I will see what options do I have in here. Then I will try to move to a more professional theme and see what options do I have in there as well. So I want to include this meta field in this area and this area is called product information. It's where all the product information is listed. So I will click on add block and I will try to see what options do I have. I have a pop-up option. Let's see if I can, within this pop-up option, choose an image as a meta field. So I'm trying with you. I will click on pop-up and I will click on it. Obviously, there is no option to choose an image for this block in here. This means that I can't use my meta field. The type of this block is link or a page. So in order to use it, in order to be able to use a meta field within this block, I need to create a meta field that's link. We are going to do this later, but now let's try to find another solution to show the size chart. Since it's not possible to do the pop-up using the meta field we have created, let's click on add block and see if we have any other option. We don't actually have any other option to include the meta field in here because none of these blocks actually supports images. So we are going to skip this section and try to create a section that supports images so we are able to insert our meta field. So from here, I will click on add section and I will try to find something with image. So we have image banner or image with text. I will go with image with text. So now I have this in new section. What I will be doing is in here, when I click on the section itself, it allows me to select an image. And as you can see here, we have the option to connect to a dynamic source. 
When you see this icon in here, it means that you can connect to a meta field and make this image, this block, dynamic and different from one product to another, like the title and the description, for example. So I will click in here. And as you can see, I can choose the size chart, the meta field that I have just created. And I will click on it. So now I'm seeing the size chart that I have chosen for this product in here. In the same way, make this full section dynamic. So let's say, in addition to the image in here, I want to have more text about the size chart, explaining how to use it, how to maybe take the measurements and so on. So what I will do is I will actually create a meta field for each of these uh, blocks, okay? But before doing this, I want to remove the button from here and I will create a meta field for each of these ones. So I will click here, I will click on the connect dynamic source and I will click on add meta field. This is a heading, so most of probably it's a single line meta field. So I will go in here, I will call this one the size chart title and for type I'm going to give it a single line text type and simply click on save then I will create another one and this time it's gonna be for the text and since it's a rich text which means that we have the option to do bold to do italic it means that I can create a rich text meta field and use it in here so I'm going back in here click on add definition and this time I will call it size chart description. And for the type, I will choose rich text. And click on save. So now I have two new meta fields. If I go back to my product, I can see that I can fill those new meta fields for each of my products. So when I go back to this product and I scroll down, you will see these two new fields in here. For the size chart title, I will type how to take uh, your measurements. And for the content, I will actually put anything. But now, because we have chosen a rich text format for this meta field, you can see that we can have some words in bold, some words in italic, and so on. So let's type anything. If you choose the multi-line meta field type, you won't be able to like have words in bold or italic or format your text. So if you want your text to be formatted, you must choose a rich text meta field. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to bold this. I can also write something in here and make it italic and so on. And I will click on save. Now getting back to our editor in here, we click on image with text. I will remove this text from here and I will choose the size chart title. As you can see, the description is not showing in here because this field type is single line. So Shopify is only showing you the meta fields that can work. And in this case, this is a meta field that we have created. It's a single line meta field and it works here. Now, if I go back in here to the description, I will remove this. And now when I click in here, you will see that I can see the description. So I will click on it and click on save. So now, as you can see, I have this section dynamic and it's gonna be different from one product to another. Now, if I go back in here and I change the preview to a totally different product in my store, you will notice that this section is going to be empty because I didn't fill any of these meta fields. Now, let's try to see if we are using a more professional theme, how things might be different. So going back to our uh, themes list in here, I will go with the symmetry one as an example and I will try to see if there is any better way to show the size charts in here. So here I am inside this theme and I will go to the products, I will go to default product and now I will try to see if there is any place or any block that I can insert my size chart directly in this area. So I will click on add block and let's see what options do we have. Well definitely we have much more options than the one we have seen with the dawn theme. And one of them is actually an image, which is amazing. So I'm going to choose it. I will click on it and I will select my size chart as the dynamic source. And now my size chart should be appearing in this area in here. So as you can see, I can see my size chart in here. I don't like a lot how it's looking, but it's just an example. If we move it up, we can have it, for example, above the 
buy button. This could be beneficial if you are, for example, uh, showcasing, let's say, a list of certification. So you can have this list of certification as an image and link to it within your product page information. Now let's see what other type of blocks we can include in here and that we can use to add our size chart. If you click on add block, we have the pop-up, we will try it now. And actually that's it, because the other ones obviously don't support images. So let's click on pop-up and see if this is an option. It's actually also a link, so we can't directly include the meta field that we have created in here. But we can use this pop-up to have something else. So let's say, for example, you want to create a maintenance guide, but we can use this block for a totally different reason or function. Let's say, for example, you want to create a maintenance guide for your products. What you can do is to include this maintenance guide as a page on Shopify and link to this page in here using meta fields. Let me show you how to do that. So going back to our Shopify store in here, Let's go to settings. Let's go to custom data, products, add definition, and let's call it guide. And in here under type, we need to choose link because we want to link two pages from our Shopify store. So let's scroll to see where do we find it. It's in here under pages. And I will click on save. Now, going back to my Shopify store, I will create a page actually. So you go to online store, you go to page, and as you can see, we have some pages that are already here. So I will keep them and I will create a new page. I will call it trial. I will include anything within it and click on save. When I go to products and to this product exactly, I scroll down and under guide, I will select the page and save. Now if we go back to our pop-up in here, we can under page either select the page directly or select the meta field in order to make the guide different from one product to another. So I will choose guide and I will change the pop-up text in here to guide and I will place it somewhere above the variant picker. So as you can see this is my link in here. If I click on guide the page will pop up. There are infinite ways of how you can use meta fields in order to create dynamic sections on your Shopify store. And the same logic that we have applied to the size chart and the image with text section can be applied to any section on your product page template. Obviously, you have no more reasons to create boring product pages that only show product photos, the title and the prices. Now you can go as creative as you wish, creating as much sections and making them all dynamic in order to show your product information in the best way possible. And in the same way that we have used meta fields for the product pages, you can use them to all different types of content on your Shopify store, collections, orders, pages, and so on. But I really think that product pages are the most essential ones and this is where you are going to use meta fields the most. If you love this video and you are interested about using meta fields, I highly recommend you to check this video next on my YouTube channel. In this video, I show you how you can use meta fields in order to create better filters on your collection pages. So don't forget to check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving and if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. Thank you again and see you soon. Bye bye.